Okay, hi, we're back for part two YouTube video of my cooking of my rice with shrimp and snow crab and lobster meat. So I'm putting some olive oil into my pot and I'm going to have this olive oil in here and I'm going to let that simmer a little bit and as soon as I get some heat I will add my seasonings <coughs> and uh, right now I'm going to add some sofrito to my rice that I'm going to make this is homemade so and I'm going to add that much. Then I have my beans that I'm going to make. These are pink beans. And I'm also going to add some sofrito into that. And the rest I will add here. And there we go. And we're going to let that simmer. And as soon as that is ready, always clean everything you use, remember that. And I have some shrimp stock <clears throat> that I'm going to add uh, later on. And now I'm going to see if I got some heat on there. I'm going to add my garlic. Okay, I see that we're getting heat. And uh, it smells awesome. I can smell it already. I'm going to turn on my beans also. I'm going to put that to medium. There's two cans of pink beans in here. The only thing I've added so far is the sofrito. So now, um, rear. Oh, excuse me, turned on the <laughs> wrong one. I always do boo boos here. So now, as my beans are doing that, I have potatoes that I cut up. Left them in water so they don't oxidize. And I'm going to dump those in there too. Ooh, yum. And I'm going to take my garlic and add some garlic to what's going to be my rice and some to my beans. There we go. And this smells wonderful already. And I'm going to have that do that there for a second. And as we do that, I'm going to take my shrimp stock, which is piping hot because I just finished making this batch. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it out of the way, out of the way for now. And I can hear the sizzle sizzle and it smells so good and I'm making a rice making a rice with the shrimp snow crab and lobster meat which we're gonna add everything at the end when the rice is uh, almost done we're gonna add all the ingredients so now I'm gonna get some seasonings and throw in there and I'm going to add some saffron with and without color to the food. This smells good already. Mm. Sure mm. does. So here's one without color that I'm adding. Yum. Mm. Also to the beans with our color and the rest we're going to add in the rice. And I'm going to mix it around. I'm going to mix it around and that smells lovely. And I'm going to take some seasoning, add it to the beans. All purpose seasoning. A sazon kind of seasoning, this one. Some for the rice. You can smell all that. It smells lovely. Remember, always add all your ingredients. For your sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Here's some more. This is for my rice. 
Here's some for my beans. I don't measure the amount of seasoning I'm going to add because everybody has their own taste. I'll add a dash of pepper to the rice, dash of pepper to the beans. Now, I'm going to add the one with color. And there it goes, that's for the rice. <clears throat> and I'll add one and a half here. And the rest goes in there. Okay. Now, as that's doing that, I'm going to add my rice. <clears throat> And I'm going to add one cup. Two cups. And a half. And a half or a little bit. Two and a half cups. So now we have two and a half cups of rice in here with uh, the seasoning. And now I'm going to add my shrimp stock, which I said is hot, it's still hot. And here's my shrimp stock. And I have to add more, which I'm going to get right here. I have an extra batch. And I'm going to add that. And Ooh, I think we need it all. There. There's my shrimp stock. And I need more. And I don't have any more, but if you run out of shrimp stock, just add a little bit of water. It'll be fine. So you can add your... That's... That's where we're gonna, gonna go with it. Let me see. Alright, I need to measure that with the spoon. That way I know exactly how much uh, liquid I need. Okay, that is fine. So now we're just gonna taste it. Taste this. I always taste it like this. Tastes really good, but for my taste, I need a little more seasoning. So I'll add a little bit more. That'll be fine. little drip of water and mix that up and now we'll let that cook and I'm gonna put the temperature up a little bit let that cook and I'm going to put um, I'm gonna taste my beans I didn't taste my beans and I gotta make sure I really do, I just put all my seasonings in here. I'm going to add one to two teaspoons of tomato sauce, but that's about it. Okay. The beans are good too. But, like I said, I like a little extra. So I'm going to add a little bit more. tomato sauce into the beans, not a lot, you don't need a whole lot, and I'll just add that much in there, that's all we need, and that'll be fine. In the rice, I don't like to add tomato sauce because it, it'll get mushy, I don't like mushy rice, I like fluffy rice, but not mushy, so we're gonna, uh, let this cook, which smells awesome. Let the beans cook, and we're gonna have the rice with the beans. And then I still have um, my my peppers that I was gonna throw in here. There they go. And uh, you can cut a quarter of onion and throw it in there, which I'm gonna probably do. And I'll be back in in, in a few. Thank you.